thank you for getting me my ship back. It may be half wrecked, but my, my crew and I got it shaped up to almost proper working order in no time. I wish you good luck in finding whoever it is you're looking for. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime. Hey everyone, this is Draco Magnus here with Hawkeye 6. Hey guys. In the last episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we went to the sand ship. We defeated the giant tentacle abyssal Leviathan Tentalus without the help of an Asian schoolgirl. Or Zelda. Or Zelda. <laughs> and according to Skipper here, our ship is actually in perfect working, well not perfect working condition, but it's intact over there, see? Which means only a few minutes ago, between when we defeated Tentalus and now, they, our crew was able to fix that. Well, if we want to, we can always go on our ship and... Uh, His ship. It's my ship. His. It is my ship. And it's not safe. yours. I have earned it the second he let me on that ship. Where's the deed? Get the deed. He doesn't have a deed either. I don't have a deed. Ships do not have deeds. You have a dinghy. That's your ship. No, my ship is the big one out there in the distance. Bull. No, it is my no, no. ship. You know what? This counts as a fail. No, it doesn't. Take that back. No. I'm unding not. that. I unding that because no that is stupid. It. That is stupid. It's not your ship. It is my ship. No. And if ever no, it's I not. To, I Where is go. your name on it? Where is your god? Damn. Yeah, name no on other it. ship has the captain's name on it. That's just stupid. What did you name the ship? What did you name the ship then? The sand ship. No. Yes. That does not work. Yes, it does. You don't name a ship a sand ship. I didn't name it a sand ship. I named it the sand ship. The SS sand ship. Well, that's a stupid name. How do you think J uh, Captain Jack Sparrow named his the Black Pearl? Because there's black sails. Oh! No! That's the exact reason it's called the Black Pearl, because it has black sails. I will look that I'm up. I'm not kidding you. I will look that up. And I'm naming mine the Sand Ship because it is on a sea of sand. Well, sorry that you have a freaking... Ugh! It's an, 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 a time shift stone. And then on it there. turns into water. Yeah. Which is why I'm... It makes perfect sense. It is my ship, and whenever we need to go back to the Sand Sea, I can use it to go around. Although we won't ever really need to go back to the Sand Sea... But I am king of the pirates, and that's that. No, you're not. Anyway, now, guys, I did say in the last episode that we would be doing Side Quest of Palooza 2, the Revenge Tour. However, I'm going to have to postpone that, unfortunately, due to the fact that after doing the practice round, it occurred to me that there isn't many side quests here. That's not saying there are no side quests here, but there aren't as many as I thought there were. So we decided a new name for this one. Excuse me. This one is going to be Chest of Palooza. Due to the fact that there's a lot of chests and I probably should have traveled to those chests first, but whatever. But there's one in here. Damn, I yes. Remember that chest that's over in that, uh, al not alley, this side right here? He's going to tell us something useless now. He's telling us what a goddess cube treasure chest is. As if we hadn't figured that out a long time ago. That was really dumb of her. I mean, my god. And we got 300 rupees! Nice. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Nope, upgrades. I want to upgrade. Abroad. First thing we're going to upgrade our beetle, because we now have the technology. Yes, we can build him. Better. Build faster. Him. Yes. Stronger. Okay, six feet. Me to it. And we are going to get the most epic of epic tools. Ba -da -da -da. The tough beetle. Not only can it fly faster, but it can fly farther than it could before. And even if you bump it on the uh, kind of obstacles, like areas, by mistake, it won't take that much damage. You shouldn't promise that, but yes, it's tougher. 
that is the main point of this seminar. That's the name. Oh, I could uh, do that, but I ref I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to upgrade our sacred shield. Using the one dusk relic, I need to get it to its second form. I decided that I am going to wait to make the slingshot the scatter shot because I don't need it right now. Well, it's not that I don't need it, it's just. Well, actually, yeah, it's completely useless the slingshot now. And I really won't need it ever again, so I decided to save the uh, upgrade to the scatter shot for like the last, one of the last things we're going to upgrade. That being said, I can now get, um, what was this called again? The newest shield, the divine shield, up to its final form because I have all the things we need. And I'm going to do that. Using the last bit of our dust relics. But don't worry, we're going to be collecting more real soon. Having trouble over there? No, he's making a shield. And now, if you did exactly what I did, you have the second strongest shield in the game, the goddess's shield. Goes perfect with your uh, goddess white sword. Yep. And we can't upgrade anything else because we need some tumbleweeds to upgrade our newest bow, the wooden bow, into the iron bow. So, nothing doing that. I need more, one more ornamental skull to make our bomb bag to oh, the ten. medium bomb bag. It should hold ten. And we need two dust relics for the scatter shot. But as I said, scatter shot's going to be the last thing we upgrade. One of the last things, I should say. Along with the wooden shield and the uh, iron shield. And now, he has something not useless to tell us. The report, Master. Because of the improvement to your sword, you can now use your dousing ability to locate treasure. Please use the additional entry in your dowsing target list to, uh, at your leisure and convenience. So now we have the ability to douse for any kind of treasure in the world. Which would be great in the Silent Realm if we had the ability to douse in the Silent Realm. Man. Hmm. Alright, now what uh, Rupin here would tell us, I wonder why the thing disappeared, but whatever, is now he sells quivers as well as bomb bags and seed satchels. That's a small quiver. With this in your pouch, you can carry five more arrows. Perfect for anyone enamored with archery. It costs 150 rupees. Do we have a deal, friend? No. Sorry, dude. Uh. <laughs> That's quite all right, friend. I've got quite a few other fine items in stock. So take your time to look around. Or... We're not going to buy this until we get more pouches, because we can get two more pouches from Beetle's airship shop. So we'll use that pouch right, the pouch that we're going to get right here for our uh, bomb bag, this one for our air, uh, quiver of arrows, and this one we're going to use for another life metal that we can get. So at that point, well, it would be awesome. Let's go goddess treasure hunting. I just realized I forgot to set up a side quest. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to go back in there for a brief second. Okay, this is weird, because I did that in the practice round, too. I'm going to count you as a fail on this thing. I don't have a fail meter anymore. Yes, you do. Now you do. No. No, I don't. Ding. Yeah. Still not putting it up. You're going to look like a dang. Nope, I'm going to put it up. You can't. I'm the only one who edits the annotations. Oh, really? No. You don't have the password to my YouTube account. I do. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I can make you put it up without you figuring it out. No. It's possible. No, it isn't. Dude, you're talking to a person that knows how to make good videos. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact you don't have the Just power. do the quest! <laughs> Welcome. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't be sighing in front of the customer. You see, recently I haven't been able to sleep at night. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of the customer again. And now he's just saying a standard hello, infusing potions, any potions, nah. I just want to see how you were doing. You, you doing good, buddy? Apparently not, because you're not getting sleep at night. 
No, we should, we should visit him at night when we're done collecting these goddess cube treasure chests that are on the island. But no sooner than that. No, instead of songs, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty well considering I can film again. It is great. Uh, I in video games I've been getting into uh, the Simpsons arcade game that is now on the Xbox 360 in the uh, marketplace. Which we could be doing the let's play on that one. Yeah, and uh, I love love the Simpsons. All right, what you're going to want to do up here is you have two options. Now that you've claw shot it your way up here, you can either grab onto that or you can get the other goddess cube that's here because there's actually two. And never mind, you can't do it by doing that. See, I thought I'd be able to because it looked like I had the distance, but I guess you really do have to do it the other way, the actual way I did it in practice round. Ding. I'm not going to put that in. A I'm still going to put it out there. You logically can't do that. Only I have the password to my YouTube account. It's pointless to think otherwise. I'm just going to say I'm just going to keep on saying it. I don't care if it's on there. Yeah. I just want to show randomly dinging. No, I'm just going to show you how I feel when you keep on doing that to me. All right, it's just going to be stupid. Though. Not really. Yes, really. You would have absolutely no way of putting it on. It would just be a random thing with no point or purpose. So I'll make sure I'll put it on my comments on there. That's just stupid. Of no, but I can whatever. put it on the comments. You're going to want to jump down and use a self walk. Well, or you could have just got the one up that was up there and also then went down there. Yeah, I decided to do this first. To get 300 rupees. But shh, don't tell me. And I'm thinking you're back on your money. Yep. Oh, I didn't do as good as I did the first time. First time I was able to just jump all the way there. But now I'm just going to dive down. Just call your bird. <clears throat> no, I don't want to call the bird. I want to get a knight to bring me to where I want to be. How am I st Thank you. Jeez, thought I would never stop falling. What do you want? Nobody cares what you have to say. Jerk. Saving our lives. What's wrong with him? Maybe he had a good reason? No, he didn't. He just wanted to rub it in our faces. Uh, no. Yes. Why else would he save us? Because it's his job? No, it isn't. His job is to patrol around the city and make sure monsters don't attack. Nowhere in his job does it say, save people from falling off the edge. Well, and here's the next guy's future. Maybe there. they don't want them to be stupid. How would them not saving my life be stupid? No, they just don't. Anyway, want, this I is don't. a hard piece. <laughs> and over here, there are some butterflies and a go gossip stone. I believe this one gives you oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. goddess plume. Yup. You were a weird one climbing all the way up here. Hey, if you try to dive off the ledge here, I bet you can land on the nest, uh, on the, on top of the tower down there. But what do I know? I'm a stone. That's true. What does he know? He's just a rock. How would he know how far we could jump? Well, he shouldn't be negative to himself. Yeah, that's true. Uh, right there is the nest in question, but we're not going to pay attention to that just yet. Did you really just hit a fan or something? Because that's how it just made you stop. No, I just kind of pulled out the sail block and then dropped it. It just looked like you actually just hit like, one of the fans. Well, I didn't. Alright, but anyway, what we're going to do is now that that side quest has been active and, like I said, we got all the treasure chests here in Skylock at the moment. We're gonna go into the potion guy's shop and sleep in his bed. He won't need it, he can't sleep at night. For some unknown reason. Thanks for respecting. Martial law! And it just occurred to me that 
our uh, newest Scottish shield as well. And now it is. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like I'll get much sleep tonight again. Why? Sorry to worry you. The baby just goes on and on like this all night. I haven't slept a wink in. Oh, I don't even know how long. The baby usually sleeps like a sack of rocks, but that was before we lost the... You know what? No. The baby's rattled. If we had the you-know-what one, uh, then the baby would settle down. But we lost it the other day. A bird picked it up and its beak and flew off with it. Maybe the bird thought it was food. I don't know. Of course the bird wouldn't have eaten it, so I think it must still be somewhere in the town. I just don't know where. <sighs> I'm sure it would be nice if someone would find it for me. Guess Lofwins are really that not He stores horribly. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but my god. You guys can't hear it due to the audio bother. Are you sure it's the baby that is having that is making you not sleep? Or is it your wife? crying baby, according to him, but whatever. Well, we're going to be a good Samaritan. We're going to find that baby's rattle by checking that nest. Because it's a bird and there's a nest. And if there's anything I know about birds, is that they make nests. Now, you could wait to do this in the daytime instead of doing what I'm going to do at night. And it's a lot die. And it's a lot easier to do in the daytime because it's easier to see things, but you know, I don't want him to have to go another night without sleeping. I'm just nice like that. After I kill a bat. And beat a kitty for trying to attack me. You kitty hater. Hey, it tried to kill me. Well, it's gonna be right. Yes, it does. When an animal attacks you, it is logical to defend yourself. And? That's my defense. You have the right to defend yourself if something attacks you, and if you don't, you're an idiot. I don't know. You don't. Okay. Let me put you in a scenario. You're being attacked by a vicious cat. Are you going to just let it kill you? Well, I could just kick it. Ding! Fail. How? Because you're hitting it. I was hitting the cat. That makes you literally no different from me. The only difference is I hit it with a sword because Link can't kick for some reason. And now, ah! Oop, you failed. Yes, I did. But this is nighttime, so it's kind of acceptable considering the fact that you can barely see what I'm doing. So it's darker than daytime. Well, I'm going to do it at night because I don't want him to go another sleepless night. But I guess I'm just nicer than you are. Yeah. You want him to go another night without any sleep. And I want to help him right now. He doesn't have time to wait. He's going to die of sleep deprivation eventually. It's not also the problem with him not sleeping too. It's just that the baby's having trouble sleeping too. Yeah, he can't sleep because the baby's not sleeping because it won't stop going wah. Which is logical because it for some reason won't sleep unless it can shake a rattle that makes noise, go figure. Alright, let's try this again. Ta-da! Now, there is 12 rupees here, but that's not important. Best bellows. Best bellows and rattle. Perhaps someone dropped... It says it's a baby's rattle, a baby toy, Someone must have dropped it. How would anyone drop a rattle up here? They would have to throw it. I don't know, unless they were flying or something. Yeah, unless people can just suddenly sprout wings now, there's no way they could just drop it up there. Stop chasing the kitty. 
I wasn't. It was just kind of running the exact same way I wanted to go. And now, so Birdie can get some sleep. Is that the baby's rattle? You found it. Who's a sleepy baby? Time for Betty Bye. Phew, the baby seems to have settled down nicely. I bet the baby will sleep well tonight. Oh, that means I'll finally get a good night's sleep too. Thank you so much. I won't forget what you did for me. Hooray. Dear Lord, I can still hear her. Seriously, get a muzzle on that girl. She needs one of those sleep aid things. I'm sure my dad does have one of those. Huh. Well, maybe she, maybe he should lend it to her. She clearly needs it. Well, there's two problems about that. One, I'm pretty sure there's no city in the sky. Two. I don't know how the hell would it get up there. <laughs> well, he would take a plane, obviously. Okay, seriously, so how much money would it cost a plane just to deliver a thing to a person that somewhat lives in the sky? Well, it's not somewhat. She does live in the sky. Oh, you guys are probably wondering why I'm, why I'm uh, running to the Knights Academy. Well, I think it's about time. We paid a little visit. Well, I was going to say, about time we snuck into Zelda's room. Oh. I mean, you know, because we can do that now. You'd rather go into your headmaster's daughter's room. Hey, she's a friend of mine. We go way back. Who as is a girl. Said, who just happens you, to be a girl. And you're not supposed to be in the girl's dorm. No, okay, first of all, there are no dorms here. Everyone has their own room. There is no dorm. Either. This isn't bully. And I'm not room. the Panty Raid Ninja right now. I am just going into Zelda's room. Going to check out what it's like in there. Because she keeps it locked. Make sure she didn't forget anything. You know, because she just kind of abruptly left. And I don't know why I'm going up here. Because that's no way to get into her room. You'll notice this chimney. Not the gust bells. I need the claw shot. Well... Whee! Now, something I didn't mention to you guys, there's actually a... With the bathroom downstairs, there's also a bathtub on the upstairs, and as you can hear, someone's in there. We'll just take a look down and see who's... Oh god, it's Kapoor! I didn't need to see that! I'm blind! Splish, splash! I'm, I'm blind! blind. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's taking a bath. Oh, God. Oh, hey. That'll make this all better. A gratitude crystal. <sighs> now, you can bring this to... Well, no, because the Roar Fruit Betrayer, the next one's at 40. Oh, but let's open this and see what's in here. A heart piece. She was holding out on us, guys. Oh, but I want to show you guys something really cool. We have an What's Easter it? egg. Tingle, tingle, cool him. Ah! Zelda has a knitted tingle doll. She's the one who created him. You can theorize all you want on exactly why she has that. But I'm going to sleep in here till morning. Again, you're sleeping in a girl's room. She's my friend. It's okay. So it would be alright if she... She slept in your room, right? Yes. Perfectly logical and perfectly fine. Okay. I would have absolutely no problem with Zelda sleeping in my room. Whether or not I was or was not there. Uh, I, got I didn't think so. Anyway, didn't we forgot somebody who we forgot to meet? No, because we're going to talk to him this morning. We have now reached the third part of Fledge's quest, meaning this is where we get the payoff for it. So, I'm going to go to the... Actually, it's not that. I was going to say I was going to cut this, but 
It's not that far from the plaza. I can talk to you guys for a little while. And he's right there. Let's say hi. Hi, Fledge. Hey, Yermishi. Uh, how goes it? I've been great, thanks to that stamina potion you gave me. The longer I train, though, the more I realize I'll never measure up to you. I'm just so scrawny. He, he looks a lot bigger to me. But Not just because he's arms. on the hill, I mean, but yeah, like Hake said, his arms look a little bigger. I might, he just might be crazy, but, you know, tell us what you guys think. Hey, if you're up for it, why don't you come by and visit me again some night? And now we can get that reward. Now, I think I'm missing two chests that are out there, but after we do, uh, excuse me, Fledge's quest, we'll, uh, head out for those chests. And then we'll move on with story. I'm going to warn you guys right now. Fledge has made a massive improvement. You'll see when we talk to him. We could give you a little hint. Remember how he did up to like 58 push-ups last time? Look at him! He's a machine, people! Look at how fast he's going! And that's not even the best part. 3,985, 3,986, 3,987, 3,988... His max last time was 58! He reminds me of somebody. Who? Jason Pasterchek. They don't know who that is. I Unless know. you know they know what's in there. Well, his gamer... Uh, well, his YouTube channel is God... Uh, God's Mighty... God's Might 20. Yeah. Anyway. And he's a fitness guru. Just like now Fledge is. Well, he's not a fitness guru, Fledge. He's just, you know, working out more. Whew, that was a nice warm-up. Warm-up? Wait, you need over whoa, 3, whoa, 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 that's a wait, warm-up? That, that, that was, okay, this this guy is just, oh my god. I, I think he has Jason B. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a Meshi. I was just, uh, just hoping you'd come by. I wanted to ask you something. The other day I tried lifting uh, some barrels, and I was able to do it with w one arm. No, stop it. You're kidding me. Do you think that means I've got enough muscle? What do you think, Yermeshi? Do I look strong? Too strong! Huh? Aw, oh, you're just saying that. But that's still nice to hear. What the f- <laughs> It's all thanks to you, Yermeshi. I would have gotten discouraged if you hadn't come to cheer me on. You gave me my motivation. Thank you, Yermeshi. I think he could beat Giant Moss. You know what, Fletch? I think I'm just gonna sit on the sidelines now and let you say Zelda. I mean, you're clearly capable of it. Okay, here's my goddess shield, here's my goddess sword. Go, uh, go hit some stuff. <laughs> yeah, go, go have fun. I'll, I'll tell you, give you the lowdown on what's happened. So I think far. maybe his HP is more, long, uh, more better. More better. I mean, more like inv advanced because the way how he just feels more incredible. It's just, it's just. It's like you're fighting the final boss, and he could be the final boss. I don't think he'd be able to be a final boss. He isn't that strong. Final boss in this game is a lot stronger than Fledge. Trust me. Maybe you could use him on the side. Hey! Since now like he's strong, he can now not be afraid of uh, fighting Bruce. Yeah, but Bruce wasn't that strong compared to the final boss. In fact, Bruce is, a, is an ant compared to the final boss. Not in size, just in strength. Oh, but by the way... While I'm out here, Fledge has a mini game ready for us. So hit the button, uh, the annotation on the screen, and you'll go to Fledge's mini game, The Pumpkin Book. <laughs> 